This video is a continuation of my previous video regarding the Black Bull Tower and Isle of Man and how we can see it from 90 miles. Now, you'll need to watch my previous video to understand what's going on in this video as it's, as it's a continuation. Now, in that video, I proved using geometry that if the world was flat, Mount Snaefell, this peak over here, would need to be three towers taller than Blackpool Tower. And I used geometry to prove this. Now, in Anthony Riley's response video, he went on about some side issue about a blink test, and he missed the main point. The main point is the geometry proves that Mount Snaefell would be up to here three times taller than the tower. And because it's not three times taller, it proves that the Earth is round. Now, Anthony Riley basically is saying that perspective and convergence will cause the mountains to become much smaller and be at this level here as we see in the photo. Now, if you look over here, I've conducted some tests using various objects of known size and distance. And using these objects, I'm proving that my calculations with my diagrams were correct. So let's review the main point that I was saying in the last video. The main point is this. If we scale all the different items, Winter Hill, Mount Snaefell, and Blackpool Tower, to the proper scale, and we plot them into a flat earth, the horizontal scale and the vertical scale. And as I said before, it doesn't matter if the vertical scale is not um, to the same scale as a horizontal scale. It's actually exaggerated. And as I said before, if we had it to the correct same scale on the horizontal and the vertical, it will only be a few pixels tall. So we have to exaggerate to see what's going on. And as I proved, it makes no difference. And my current tests also show that it makes no difference if we exaggerate the vertical scale or exaggerate the horizontal scale. So if we draw a line from Winter Hill to Mount Bolton, you can see that Blackpool Tower doesn't intersect with that line at all. It's a totally different line of sight. You actually have to look downwards from Winter Hill to see Mount to see Blackpool Tower. And you look upwards to see Mount Snaefell. And there's quite a large gap. You can see that the angle between them is quite large. And as I showed last time, you can draw three Blackpool Towers, almost three, so just under three Blackpool Towers, to intersect with Mount Snaefell. And as I showed last time, even if we decrease the vertical scale to bring it closer to reality, it's still exaggerated compared to reality, but it's a bit closer. Again, the same thing occurs. We can draw a line to Mount Snaefell. You can see you're looking upwards to see Mount Snaefell. You look downwards to see Blackpool Tower. They don't intersect. And the fact that they do intersect on the image proves that the, the Earth is not flat. Now let's go into some detail about the experiment. Now I tried to model Mount Snaefell and Blackpool Tower as accurately as I could on the vertical axis and as accurately as I could on the horizontal axis. And let's go through them. So all the maths is on the screen. You can pause and check them over. I'll just go over it briefly. It works out that Mount Snaefell is 3.6 times taller than Blackpool Tower. So this set of duplo is 9.1 centimeters and this is 2.5 centimeters so this is 3.6 times taller than this one now on the horizontal axis mount snaefell is 90.8 miles blackpool tower is 25.75 miles so it's mount snaefell is 3.52 times further away than blackpool tower so for these two sets of photos i placed the distance from the camera 33 centimeters and distance to the this one over here mount duplo is 117 centimeters so it works out to be a ratio of 3.52 just as it should be and this one over here is double the distance so everything's double distance to the first one is 66.6 centimeters and the distance to the second lot is 234 centimeters and the ratio is 3.52 just as we predict over here. So what I'm showing here is that in both of these photos, as I predicted, you need three Blackpool Towers in order to get to slightly taller than Mount Snaefell. 
in this image, you see that again. Even though everything is double the distance, so these objects is double 66 compared to 33, and these objects is double 234 compared to 117, still it all works out the same that it's, it takes three Blackpool Towers to be slightly taller than Mount Snaefall. So this shows that my diagram and my math works out in reality. Now I conducted the same experiment with larger objects and we have the exact same result. Here we have a cup which is 8 centimeters, a bottle and a chest ball which is 29 centimeters, and exactly the same result. So in conclusion, my conclusion in my last video that you need about three Blackpool Towers in order for the light of sight from Winter Hill to reach Mount Snaefall was proven correct using an experiment. So in the experiment we modeled Blackpool Tower and we modeled Mount Snaefall and we showed that the top of Mount Snaefall will be almost three towers high. And that's exactly what we see here. So this line corresponds to the top of this line. And this line, which is the bottom of Mount Snaefall, corresponds to here. And we can see, looks like around 40 to 50% of Mount Snaefall is hidden behind the curve. So my analysis using geometry was confirmed by this experiment. Anthony, if you continue to insist, as you have done in your video and in your comments, that perspective will cause the mountain to drop to this level, and you continue to insist this, despite all the evidence I've brought, despite the math, despite the geometry, despite all the experiments, and you continue to insist this without bringing any evidence of your own, how can you claim that you are being intellectually honest? And please don't come back and say convergence is the factor because the skunk bay clip that you keep on referencing, the x-axis is distorted only a couple of pixels. We don't see land masses shifting from the top of the image to the bottom of the image. We don't see an entire shift from one part of the image to another image. So please don't come back and say convergence is the, is the factor going on here. It's not convergence and it's not perspective. You just have got it wrong. And this image proves that the flat earth is impossible.